Fair housing. Fair housing. Fair housing. It's good business. Hi, I'm Emily. Did you know that there are seven protected classes under the Federal Fair Housing Act? But did you also know that there are a total of 20 protected classes in the city of Seattle? It's important to understand the specific laws for the municipality of the community that you're responsible for. Hi, I'm Winnie. Did you know that it's critically important to understand how to handle accommodation and modification requests? Over 55% of the fair housing claims filed in Washington State over the last 10 years were violations regarding disability. Fair housing prohibits the creating of a seemingly neutral policy or procedure that would disproportionately adversely affect a protected class. This is called disparate impact. And the reason for this is due to historical injustices in the criminal justice system that has disproportionately impacted communities of color. And as such, some neutral criminal screening policies would disproportionately deny people of color. Hi, I'm Katie with One Up Floors. Did you know that supplier partners working on site need to comply with and follow all fair housing laws? If they don't, they subject the customer to a potential violation. Did you know that changing out a light bulb while performing a work order is not only excellent customer service, and definitely recommend. But if you don't perform that same service for all of your residents, you could have a fair housing company. So just make sure that you're consistent when you go that extra mile for your residents. Hi there. Did you know that there are new resources available to you to determine whether an animal is a service animal or a companion animal? Be sure to check out the Fair Housing Friday. It's a webinar on April the 24th, and you can learn all about reasonable accommodations and modifications. Hello, Wumpa family, Sloan Servana here, Director of Career Development at your association. Just wanted to come to you and say, it's April, happy Fair Housing Month. We believe that fair housing is good business, so we just wanted to share a couple of things coming to you that can help you inform yourself and your teams about fair housing. In the height of the Civil Rights Movement, John F. Kennedy signed a mandate trying to provide some protections and access to all people for housing specifically. It was a good start. It just didn't have enough teeth and really wasn't widely enforced. But finally, in 1968, Lyndon B. Johnson signed into law the Fair Housing Act. And from that, we have all the fair housing practices that we've kind of added on to um, that you know today. So we just encourage you at all times, but especially this month, to be making sure that you are fully aware of all of the fair housing laws that exist, not only federally, but at a state and local level. This Friday, we have a Fair Housing Friday coming to you, a webinar, and we'll be talking about things like my friend Opie here, service and companion animals as it relates to reasonable accommodations and modifications. Um, HUD has recently released a new guidance on service and companion animals. We wanna share information with you about that, as well as all reasonable accommodation um, and modification requests. So join us Friday if you can. Um, otherwise, we just encourage you to practice fair housing at all times. It is good business. Have a great afternoon.